Good morning, Dominique aka Chaos Puzzler here and today starts the one week 100 people challenge. That means sketching 100 people during the next five days. 20 people at least each day. Today I'm not commuting to work, that makes things a little bit difficult. So I have to be creative where to find my 20 people at least for today. Grocery shopping. If you can't find a place to sit down and are daring enough, don't care too much about the accuracy, you can get your people in very quickly. Now, this wouldn't be a complete chaos puzzle sketch without the colors, so I'm taking this home now and I'm going to color it in. Time to get the kids and take them home for lunch. Maybe I can get a few parents waiting for their kids in in my little sketchbook. Well, two more in. Today it's time to commute, however I'm past the rush hour, so we'll see how many people I can get in today. Well, finally time for lunch. Today again I'm not commuting, so back to the grocery store, sketching people standing in line. I packed a page with 19 faces and I'm going to color them in in a few moments at home.
After the lollygagging of yesterday, I decided to get my 100 people done today and use tomorrow as an extra life. I sketched 10 people on the train and did an illustration of a guy in a suit at work, so I am at 90 so far. <laughs> When I came by the grocery store today, there was such a rush, I stopped and sketched 13 more people, although this wasn't planned. Visit your kids at school today, an unexpected portrait session. Now I'm heading to the library to return some DVDs. I really needed that extra life today. Takeaway points. About halfway through, I felt kind of a little bit frustrated because pumping out 20 people at least each day is more about quantity than quality. And usually I'd like to tell a story with my sketches, which these little portraits do not. Also, I'm sketching people on the train every time. But then, introducing a face, a character, with a few lines, a few squiggles, is a quality I'd like to have. And for that, I need to practice. Also, I enjoyed working with more muted colors than I usually do and mixing my skin tones on the go. Finally, I'm glad I pushed through this challenge and thank you for watching me while I was doing that. See you in the next video. Bye!